In this short video, I'm going to show you how to start and stop a sound file um, that you borrow or import from YouTube. We are going to use a, a no copyright sound YouTube video and just borrow part of it and then place it in our app. Just as an FYI, um, there is a really cool uh, web page or a really cool YouTube channel called No Copyright Sounds that when you check their usage policy, you'll notice that for educational purposes, you are welcome to use um, their uh, content with, um, with, with no copyright concerns. So um, just to be aware of that as you create a totally cool video. The first challenge you have is to find the YouTube video that fits in with your app. Once you find that, there are many different ways to convert a YouTube video to an MP3 file. Feel free to do a Google search and just Google search YouTube to MP3. But one that I find to be very easy to use is Ute. That's right, Ute. All you do is you remove the oob in YouTube and you have YouTube. And when you click on return for that, what you get is a nice page that takes um, the YouTube um, video that you were working with and places it in a window where you can just um, take an MP3 file, even uses friendly words like record. And um, before I uh, watch the video, uh, uh, before I, I set this up, I, I already know which section I want to steal or use. It's from 15 seconds to 21 seconds. And you can adjust these handy dandy sliders here. Um, there it is, 15 to 21. And if you have any trouble, you can type it in too. And then I'm going to um, make sure it's on MP3. Uh, the quality is the way I want it. And I'm going to click on record MP3. Once I do that, it's going to um, download the song. And you can see the download is right here and it's available for my usage. So now, I can upload the song and to do that I'm just going to place it on my desktop here. Now this song is available on my desktop. I'm going back to MIT App Inventor and I'm going to use the media component and I'm going to select the player. I'm going to click, drag and drop the player onto my phone. Then I'm going to upload the media file from my desktop. So I click on media file. I click choose file or if I want to use a little shortcut I can do that. And then I go OK and the file will be uploaded. The player doesn't have a source yet so I'm going to give the player the source of the song I just uploaded. I'm going to go OK and now I have the player playing that sound I wanted. Um, I'm going to go to and uh, I'm going to go to blocks. I'm going to have button one be the play button. So I click on the player component or uh, yep component and I tell it to start. It's not in alphabetical order so be careful with the blocks aren't in alphabetical order. So button two or the blocks are in alphabetical order, not logic order. So you'll notice pause is the first one. A common error I see is people will put pause um, in there first instead of start in there first. But I'm going to go uh, button one is my start button and button two is my stop button. Now I can connect to my app and this should behave as expected. So this is the way you take a video and you convert it to an mp3 file and then you upload it and use it in your app. Good luck!